Call of Duty, World at War, Co-op, Split Screen Walkthrough for SpacedupGames.com on the regular difficulty, because Veteran and Hardened is almost impossible. Okay, here is a pretty tough part, if you ask me, actually. Um, I don't know, we were, Scar kept dying here. <laughs> Except that was, I think, the only one time. Hold it. Anyway, um, after you clear the, I think that was the first bunker, second bunker, two bunker, two or three bunkers. This might be the third one, is it? Yeah, this is the third one. Okay, uh, you after you clear this one, you have to go into this gigantic bunker and just secure the entire thing. It says, and it took Scar and I forever to do it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I cut out the part of us running around like a moron, so you didn't have to watch that. And, hmm, it's not too much going on right now, just, after you clear, you want to run through up here. <laughs> okay, now, here is the part I was talking about that you have to clear the bunker. You have to get inside of it, and I was trying to... I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, I was waiting for them to open it. That was it. Okay. And then, um... As soon as I do open it, I go through... Oh, I don't think this is that part. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's later on. Okay. Now, right here, you get a tank, and I would uh, suggest using the sniper rifle that you picked up earlier on, if you did. And yeah, that jump is where death was supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, um, I would suggest picking up the sniper rifle. Try and get some people if you can, but you probably won't be able to. Okay, for this part, you want to stay to the right of the map, uh, because, and especially hug these little um, barricades or boxes or whatever they are. Hug those and try and snipe some people. And man, that was a slow bullet. Just barely missed him. Anyway, just kind of stay to the right side of the map, but stay to the left of all the barricade and headshot. That was awesome. But this part is pretty dang tough. Um, right here, I would pull out the. I would use a flamethrower. There we go. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind of brain dead there. Okay, I would use the flamethrower to clear out this little bunker and I was kind of surprised I didn't die there. I don't think I died. And then there's a guy right there just standing there for some reason and <laughs> but yeah. Okay, and for some of you that do not know, if you whenever I make a kill, you see like plus 70 or plus 140 come up that is cooperative scoring and it's Usually, sometimes it's used for serious, uh, like, challenge, like, see who does the best or something, but most of the time it's just used to see who makes the most kills, I think, at least. No, let me say it again. It's usually just used to see who, if you've killed the person or not. It's pretty useful. Okay, now, up is, uh, right here is coming the part where you have to go inside and clear, uh, this huge bunker, and it just took Scar and I like five minutes to find the entrance, and if you watch the bottom, I think Scar is wandering around when I uh, cut the part, but anyway, when you come up at this part, you want to blow up the trucks, mostly because it gives you points, and it, it's just fun, and uh, don't, don't keep going forward, just turn around, that's where you have to go, you'll see a jump here in a minute, uh, couple of seconds actually and I don't know what I was doing but you have to where those trucks are just turn right around from those just turn around right from those trucks and that's where you have to go um wait for it there we go see it's right behind those trucks that's where you gotta go and you just go right in it and start flaming everyone <laughs> the flamethrower is really useful for this part because you just flame through a hole a couple of times and it kills them. Okay, the, um, there isn't much going on after this, so I think I'm going to stop talking, but all you got to do really is just continue on through and kill everyone.